Hi, this is Phil with Sauce Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to run a manual test with Sauce, including some of our cool manual testing features like being able to send test results to Jira with our Jira plugin. Once you've logged into the Sauce Labs dashboard, start your manual test by clicking on New Manual Test. First, enter the URL of the website that you want to test. Then, select the browser that you want to test with. If you've selected browsers in the past, you'll see your history down here, and you can select that combination again simply by clicking the button. In this case, we want to test Firefox 44 on Windows 10 at 1024 by 768 resolution. If the website we wanted to test was located behind the firewall or not publicly accessible, we would need to open a Sauce Connect tunnel to it. For more information about Sauce Connect, see our product documentation wiki at wiki.saucelabs.com. Since our website is publicly accessible, we can now begin the test session by clicking on Start Session. Once we click Start Session, the virtual machine will begin to fire up the browser and operating system combination we requested. Once the manual testing session launches, you'll notice that you have some controls at the top of the window. To expand to full screen, to take a snapshot, to copy to and from the remote clipboard, and to invite others to observe the testing session. In this case, we want to make sure that the hamburger menu on the saucelabs.com website functions correctly. We click on it, and we see that it opens up, and we could go check out all this other information about Sauce Labs. Since we decided that everything looks okay, we'll go ahead and stop this session. And that takes us back to our Sauce Labs dashboard to the Manual Tests tab you'll see that the test we just ran is starting to finish up. During this time, Sauce Labs is generating the metadata, the screenshots, and the videos to go with your testing session. Once it's done, click on the session to view the test details page. Here you can see the parameters of the test, as well as the test assets, including a video of the test, logs associated with the test, such as the Selenium log and the JSON log, and test metadata. So that testing session went well, but if we had found a bug and had the Sauce Labs Jira integration, we could file a bug into our JIRA directly from the test details page. And that's it for how you run a manual testing session with Sauce Labs. For more information about other Sauce Labs features, check out our product documentation wiki at wiki.saucelabs.com.